The power of semiconductors can be found in devices used by several industries around the world. From the average smartphone to advanced cars and microwave technologies, the need for innovative semiconductors continues to grow. Semiconductors are really everywhere and part of every crucial device you're using in daily life. And I'm not talking about PC, laptops or smartphones, which is obvious. Fact is that semiconductors are really smaller, faster, smarter, more versatile and in one word, much more intelligent than any other device we used in the past. The impact we see right now is just the beginning. You see already how the development goes if you look into self-driving cars, talking about mobility. If you think about artificial intelligence, and last but not least, if you look into the new mobile network standard 6G, which is to be defined right now, and which will basically connect all of this. With the ability to be used in numerous applications, the essential need for semiconductors has led the technology to become even smarter and more sophisticated. Consumers and customers request more and more sophisticated features on smaller and smaller devices, which drives the need for faster and more energy efficient semiconductors. Going forward, we will see a skyrocketing demand for such high performance products, for example used in e-vehicles and quantum computing. Speed and computing power is still the driving factor behind uh, semiconductor development. And you make the structure smaller and smaller and you can imagine the challenges that you produce is exactly the same quality, exactly the same yield. Another is safety. This chip has to function regardless if you run it at minus 30 degrees in Alaska or if you run it at plus 30 degrees in the Death Valley. As challenges in manufacturing persist, Industries are in search of ways to develop new materials and processes. Silicon-based chemistry, as it used right now in semiconductor industry, is running into physical limitations, which cannot be overcome and require new materials. One material which is discussed right now is gallium nitride, but you need to integrate such a material. And with these new materials, the amount of heat which is generated is much higher. So of course, the challenge will be to use a heat sink for this. And a very heavily discussed example right now is diamond. Diamond is the perfect heat sink. So you basically won't heat up the critical devices and they can run at room temperature regardless the uh, switching frequency you will use. The plasma is commonly known as the fourth state of matter in addition to solid, liquid and gas. Plasma is used for chemical vapor deposition for different thin films and also for chemical etching processes of different materials with a high aspect ratio. Also, you can use it for cleaning and surface modification. From lab-grown diamonds to specific carbon modifications, innovations in atmospheric plasma are reinventing the way materials are delivered. In the industry, you have lots of applications nowadays that are using uh, low-pressure plasma, which means that you need to have a chamber, a pump, and you work at something like one thousandth of the atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric plasma, you are working at room pressure. When you are working at atmospheric pressure, you have no need anymore of pump or a vacuum components, so you will save money, you will also save time because you don't need to pump down your chamber, for instance, which means that you can work with a much higher flow rate. Another way is the microwave plasma. So you use a microwave in order to generate your plasma. So you feed your microwave into a resonant cavity. In this resonant cavity, you will have an increase of your electric field. And because of this high electric field, you have, uh, at the end of the day, your plasma. Microwave and plasma solutions help make processes more efficient and support low carbon technologies, leading to new developments across several sectors and applications. With the microwave plasma, you can create a chemical environment and you can enhance your materials. So for instance, you can increase the wettability of a surface and you can also use plasma at the end of your process by doing waste abatement. So you can clean water, for instance, with plasma or a microwave. Plasma can play a very critical and crucial role, not only to avoid to burn fossil fuel into carbon dioxide, but to turn CO2 back into some raw material. So basically you convert a natural gas, CH4, and CO2 at the end into methanol. And the chemical industry is hungry for these products. In the future, microwave-assisted plasma promises to change the way machines are made, creating more reliable, cost-efficient, and sustainable solutions.
the microwave plasma technology will be helpful in the semiconductor industry to develop new generation of devices. Also, this technology could be helpful to generate clean hydrogen from natural gas. I believe one thing is clear, that the environmental rules, they will become more and more stringent and harder and harder to achieve. Microwave and microwave-based plasma will be a big step towards this goal to really make industry more efficient, use less energy, and reduce the emission of CO2. Not only that, if you think about energy generation, it's not only that you have to produce energy, you have to store it sometimes. And this comes to new battery concepts. For this, you need new materials. And also for this, microwave-assisted plasma will be a big help to produce these uh, products and at the end, make our world a better place.